Welcome back to this playthrough of Amnesia and the Dark Descent. It's a new day, I have a few minutes to record, uh, as much as an hour probably, and I don't know where my shirt went. Well, uh, I'm sorry, I'm also out of interesting things to say. But for the moment, ah yes, here we are, back at the laboratory. My Scots are, my thought, my Scots, my Scots are scattered today, but so are my thoughts. And so you can expect this episode to be even more uh, stupid, scattered, whatever, humorous, maybe, uh, than the usual. I'm not high, I promise. Hey, Tinderbox. I didn't even know that was back there. Uh, so yes, this is the laboratory. Over there is a grate. Don't step on it, you'll get scared. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiments has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seem unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can and move them to the wine cellar. Uh, let's see now. If you do step on that... Am I? There should be more Kubrat. Let me see, let me see. And one part Aqua Force. If you do step on that, you get a foreshadowing of something that will come later in the game. Karak. That's all I'll say. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Oh, Tinderbox. <laughs> now, over here is a memory cat. You touch it. One day I will return. If it wasn't for the thought of you, my love, I wouldn't be able to go on. When I find myself doing terrible things, I take comfort in you. As long as I'm able to think of you and long for a life together, I know I'm better than the others. I weep for them. They lust for power without restraint. Where I only crave fair judgment and a safe return. A note from Alexander. This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae. I think. If it's Latin, it could be Wite, but... The former compounds lack the potency I need, but I sense I'm close. Calamine and Orpiment are a given, and the Cooperite binds them well. This time I will attempt Aqua Regia instead of Aqua Fortis, and hope that it will prove it produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid and proves impractical to put to any use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use this recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. And that explains why we, uh, went to the, le uh, the wine cellar and found those chemicals. And this is what we're going to do with them. Uh, let's see. You, ah, no. You first put the chemicals on, in no particular order. It does it for you. Shadow for Daniel unhappy. Now originally, you were going to have to uh, put, turn on these burners in a specific order. You turn on this one, you turn on this one, and turn that one off, you turn on this one, and turn that one off, and so forth. But designers, thankfully, decided that that would be entirely too complicated. Now I forgot to put the pot down first, so let me... So, we'll turn the burners back on. Boop. And turn. turn. And turn. There we go. And then we get a filled up pot of acid. This is a terrible idea. We are holding a pot of acid which should... I mean, Aqua Regia is an extremely... Uh, powerful acid. The oxygen just burn right through the pot. And there we have uh, a completely shattered staircase. Presumably uh, shattered by the shadow's anger at Daniel's complete misunderstanding of uh, chemistry. And basic sense. Now, we're out of the laboratory and almost finished with the entrance hall. The pot smelled of desert and damp musk. The pieces lay scrambled on top. Too many of them, he thought, or perhaps too few. And now 
now we have more gnats in the shadow dome. Now we're going to see just how powerful this acid is. I can't remember if I looked at it earlier, but down here, we have some nasty shadow group, and it's blocking the way. It's tough and blind, it can't be torn by hand or tools. But it can be torn by acid. Now, logically at this point, you would want to, I don't know, wash the pot out or something. That's not how Daniel works. It became impossible to avoid. The commotion in the streets begged for his attention. As he opened the shutters, in the French soldiers opened fire on the two young men fighting back. The voices were silenced in a haze of gun smoke. And here we are in the refinery. It's dark. And scary. It sure is dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now, if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight, and make sure not to stray. Tooltip up there, warning you that enemies are near, is letting you know that you're about to encounter a visual of a grunt. This is the point when you should turn around and go hide. Now this one is not actually dangerous. It's just there to creep you out and lower Daniel's sanity a bit, as you can see. Now, you really shouldn't use the lantern much here because you're not in any danger. I will turn it on occasionally, though, because it's just so dark, it's hard to see. And you should go to the right, not the left, because otherwise you're going to get scared a whole lot more. Now, one advantage of not turning on the lantern is that, at times, it can be easier to find, uh, 22nd of June, 1839. It's been more than a month since my last entry. After the event inside the underground chamber in Algeria, Professor Herbert insisted I return to England. He said he didn't want to risk forfeiting the entire expedition lest I took a turn for the worse. An excessive decision, in retrospect. But I'm glad it turned out that way. I found my journal this morning in the haphazard collection of things brought home from Africa. Next to it lay the broken stone orb wrapped in cloth. I tried to assemble it, but couldn't. The pieces wouldn't fit together, as if they weren't from the same object. Could I have imagined it all? Was there ever a complete orb? Now we're going to do something pretty illogical, and walk toward the door that just jumped at us. How's my sanity doing? His, his pounding and hands are shaking. Okay, that's not great. But we, we, but we shall persevere anyway, because we are brave, and adventurer is us. Now we just move these boxes out of the way, and we duck in here. That's all. And here we have something very useful. A few drops of oil. And really, just a few drops. Ugh. And my sanity is exceedingly low. No. We'll just grab a consumable here. Tinderbox. Always nice. Very soon Daniel's going to collapse, I'm sure. Now, there's a, a bit of wood in the pulley there. Uh, oh, we can't move that one. Alright. We can move this one. So, pick up this 